Hi, this is Lynn, and this is my fifth vlog. Uh, so about five weeks, more or less, give or take, into my journey journey to minimalism. Uh, so in case this is your first time watching, you know I'm just a regular guy. I work as a software dev developer in Chicago. Um, I live in the city. I have a little studio to myself. I moved in a year ago. And I brought everything from my parents' house because uh, they had left the country, or et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and I brought it, all these things I've had since I was a kid um, down to this 400 square foot studio in the city. Um, and since then, uh, I've been fighting with all of the stuff that, when I first moved here, literally covered the floor and closet and I couldn't even walk in and out without tripping over stuff. It was really like literally walking over things. Um, since then, I've sold, donated, thrown away, recycled about 90% of it. Um, I, I'm just throwing these numbers out there. But um, since last time, I had this box, uh, set of five boxes of kitchenware that my parents had got. We'd gotten years ago, 10, 15 years ago. Never use it, just extra plates, extra pots, saving it for a good day. When we always use this one pot that's been <laughs> grimy and grimy. Let me show you real quick. It's, it's really kind of... Uh, kind of sad um, that I still, kind of still use this, but it's very sturdy. I mean, American made, U.S. Uh, looks like it was made in Brazil, um, and it's it's just tried and true. So, uh, you know, we're all saying, oh, we'll use those one day when I have like a nice place of my own or something like that. But reality is, I live in a studio. Um, I'm not getting married anytime soon, and uh, you know, that's I don't need good good pots. Um, I don't need 20, 30 plates. They're heavy, ceramic. I don't know how I got them here by myself. I didn't use movers. I just, you know, picked it up and decided to move it down uh, from the suburbs in my car and up two flights of stairs. I don't know why. I was pretty uh, crazy, I guess, to think that was, it, was, oh, it wasn't too bad. But um, still, never want to do that again. <laughs> This just doesn't make sense for something you never use. Um, so that's that's the goal here, right? Minimalism, minimalism for me, minimalism for me is about only having the things that I use every day or things that I really, really like. Um, so, you know, the, the very few things I really use every day, including clothes, I only wear a few shirts, I cycle through every week, just pants. Um, I have like one suit just in case. Um, you know, the main thing here is, you know, some winter clothes. I have, you know, a few duffel bags, winter clothes, a couple of this big uh, plush I made, just one of those I'll show you one day. A lot of art. I'm just hanging out here. I paint. I was an art major. So I happen to have a lot of art, and that's kind of been a boon and a burden because now I have all these art supplies. Literally, this stack of three boxes is art supplies and rags turn my old clothes to rags because as you know a lot of places take rags as donation their clothes as donation but they end up shipping it to a third world country and just collapses the market there there's too many excess clothes the fashion industry as you've probably heard is a huge polluter um, as well as a producer of waste because of fast fashion where people just throw things away after ne like you're never using it and I am guilty of that as well um, but I'm really trying to cut back. Take a look at my closet. Um, you know, it's I'm trying to get it down, but it's already a lot better. Um, I use most of these. There are even some of these shirts I don't need because I I just never use them. I only I have my two or three that I like, and that you know that's enough to cycle through. Um, because you know if it's if I'm gonna wear a shirt and it's gonna get dirty, it's gonna get dirty, and then I'm not gonna wear it for a week. Um, I don't know, it's just, yeah, so that's, that's how it is. Uh, I would like to dress better, um, but, you know, there's just so much going on. Literally, I just need to clear up my space first. I feel like that's just easy to do because finding new clothes for me is, this has been a little hard. Um, I'm kind of a skinnier guy, kind of lanky. Don't feel like I fit in a lot of shirts really well anyway, so, um, it always feels like a, uh, an exercise in fertility, to be honest. Um, so just having fewer clothes, at least I feel like I don't have to 
this burden of all these clothes I'm lugging around and cleaning and maintaining and uh, you know it's, it's frustrating um, yeah so that's pretty much it you know it just took some time it took an hour maybe I did it out of, out of today pretty much the only time I spent all week just organizing and getting rid of all those boxes and it was hard to let go but um you know I'm actually really glad I did it because I know I'm not gonna use it you know all these things uh, I took I took a few things back two or three but I'm really trying to avoid uh, the case where I'm just piling things in in this like cupboards you know um, that's because that's where they were before honestly it wasn't that bad here before it didn't affect my living space too much because it was all hidden um, and stored away but it's silly to have it stored away if I don't really like it I never use it and I'm gonna have to deal with it in the future and why not just deal with it now so I feel a little bit better um, and then when the time comes I have to move it's not this crazy rush where I'm like oh what I do okay I'm just gonna keep it because I don't know if I'm gonna I don't have time to donate it or I don't know what I'm gonna do it's too you know so um, that's just uh, yeah, that's just how um, things, how things have gone. I hope this uh, uh, this just reminds you that you know it is a journey. It's a step by step journey. It just does take patience and perseverance, especially if, like me. You have a hard time letting go of things, and you have a lot of stuff. Um, I don't have that much stuff by some standards, but I feel like by other standards, you know, it's a lot. Um, I would love this place to just. My vision is to have everything, you know, literally just the things I use. Like I said. Um, and and really to the point where um, it's just so clean and then it's just a few pieces of big artwork I really really like not just you know I these paintings I did they're okay they're in high school I just have them just threw them up there um, it's not really paintings I really like um, and just having it so clear where it's okay he, like here are the two or three things if they were like a fire god forbid you know knock on wood or like I just needed to move it would just be so easy where you can just take it three four duffel bags and go um so the next big step is to get rid of all this artwork you know i'm selling it i'm donating it um to charities charity auctions um that's the plan and then once all the artwork is gone i think that's going to be a huge step forward um where i have a lot less stuff um because all these paintings you know they're, they're not very thick they're just you know like big um in terms of area and but they add up right and then once they're all gone I feel like this whole area will be a lot clearer um, and then I'll just have you know all these art supplies gone hopefully you know I'll use them make some art you know, have some fun with them finally there's no point just having them to sit there or donate them even you know maybe some people need some more art supplies for cheap um, and yeah and then I think it'll just be it'll stop feeling like this just a crazy work in progress where I'm constantly you know like experiment flowing all over the place it's just no this is a living space I don't want it to look like a hotel where it's just like completely bare but I want it to look homely but also nice and I want to f it to feel like not a dorm I want it to feel like luxury and some <laughs> and, and I know that I should probably just get a nicer place but also if I have the stuff I really like too I mean that's just something I can do right now right my lease isn't up until a while um, so you know I might as well just do what I can now which is getting rid of all this stuff it does make me feel a lot better it's not you know a crazy mess over here which is amazing I love it I love how this is this is fine and clear up again um, it's honestly you know getting very close I'm very close to how I like the bathroom isn't too bad you know I've gotten rid of a lot of this stuff underneath the sink um, and it, it is kind of like well no one sees it who really cares but I mean I know it's there and it does help me mentally um, yeah and I know I'm still not to the point where oh like look at all the stuff in the closet you know it's it's kind of spread out so it's I can compact it really well um, but I can push it even further for sure because like this lamp I'm holding on to it because it's old my, my only lamp I've had since I was a kid you know it works um, I don't use it anymore though because I work on a computer and I don't need a lamp when I have a, a light in the room so um, I'm not like reading a book every day you know anymore so you know some things 
maybe I'm trying to cut down on the number of things that I have that are like so specific like that. Um, yeah, again with the clothes, I feel like if this whole side could be empty, that'd be the dream. You know, this used to be really packed. This floor used to be covered. Um, and yeah, just keep on pushing on. Uh, and hopefully just keeps on going, getting better and better um, to the point where, you know, it's, I can tend to be a pretty messy person when I don't watch it. You know, when I'm making a piece of art, I kind of like lose balance and just pff, everything is all over the place. So my idea of like such a nice minimalist place is where if I let it go a little bit, there's enough, you know, cleanliness elsewhere to kind of prop it up where it still feels like a very clean place, an organized place. Um, it doesn't feel like it's a mess all of a sudden. And part of that is, yeah, if I have a bigger space, but also if I have less stuff lying around, I feel like it's gonna easily feel like um, more organized as well. So that's really the goal, because um, I hate it when it's all messy and I feel like I can't have people over. It's embarrassing to have all this mess. Um, yeah, so the sooner I'm there, I think the biggest thing is if I get rid of these two, three boxes um, of stuff and then um, a few more, few more clothes, basically, and then paintings. I think that'll honestly be it. Um, I do have a six boxes here. It's kind of crazy, underneath this keyboard that um, that I never use. I waited a year to buy it, thinking, okay, I'll wait. I'm not. I'm really busy now. I'm not going to use it. I'll wait. I'll find a good deal. I did find a good deal, uh, second hand, which is great. Um, but I never. I still really busy. Still don't really use it. I probably could have gotten not gotten it to be honest um so yeah those three boxes are basically all books books that i really like but i don't feel i don't think i need six boxes of books probably two one for piano one for not piano or two or three um six is probably enough i definitely don't want to move six is probably too much i definitely don't want to be moving six boxes of books that i never look at they're just honestly they're just pillars at this point um, I would rather just have like a really cheap table um, that I find second hand that I can just one one fail swoop not that heavy but it's sturdy and then I can just get rid of it um, you know donate it real easy uh, you know this these two boxes they have Legos something of Legos I'm, I'm trying to sell some more Legos um, a lot of memories so yeah this TV too I'm like I, I used to like having that empty bench I thought, okay, finally, I'm going to have a TV. I'm going to watch TV on an actual TV, not my phone anymore, not my computer. Uh, guess how much time I spent on watching the TV? Like nothing. I'm so busy with um, work. And after work, you know, you're tired. You try to work out. And then, you know, you try to uh, do something creative with your time, like you know, writing or something. And I just don't get around to it, which is a good problem to have. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but... You know, it's kind of silly. I got it, and I'm still watching videos on my phone because that's faster and easier than turning on the TV, hooking it up. I don't have Wi-Fi here. My apartment doesn't have Wi-Fi service for some reason. I tried fixing it with Comcast, Comcast, and they never fixed it. So anyway, um, yeah. So that's that's where I am now. Um, so yeah. So so stay tuned if you want to see you know what it looks like when it, I have everything gone and everything. Uh, cleared up um, but yeah it's uh, I'm feeling much more relieved that just I did it it's there it's gone um, and yeah good luck on your journey